This video is the assembly and installation instructions for the 54507 waterfall fountain. At the beginning you will want to make sure that your pump is in the off position and will not want to start it again until you want to test for the proper water spray pattern. The box will include the spray head, riser, the inlet connector, the elbow connector, and printed instructions. Step one, we're going to attach the water inlet valve to the water inlet of the pool using the attachment ring. When we attach the inlet valve, we're going to be sure that the valve opening is pointing straight up. We're going to preset the valve opening to the midway point so that the valve itself is half open and half closed. Next, we're going to attach the elbow valve to the inlet valve, securing hand tight. Next, we're going to attach the spray head to the riser, being sure that our rubber O-ring seal is pushed into place. Again, we're going to attach this to the riser, hand tight, snugging it up tight enough to hold the spray head in position, yet able to adjust it so we can achieve uh, the direction that we would like. Step four, we're going to attach our riser assembly to the elbow, uh, being sure that our rubber washer is in place to create the seal. And again, we're going to put this on hand tight. Next, we're going to turn on our pool pump and check our fountain spray pattern. If the fountain spray pattern is too large or too small, we're going to adjust the inlet valve. And we're going to do that by uh, slightly loosening the coupler and then adjusting our valve either to increase or decrease the flow of water going to our sprayer. Please note that when you do loosen this coupler, it will free up the riser to move back and forth. So once we have adjusted our valve to the pos desired position that we want for our spray, we're going to then again hand tighten the coupler back, making sure that our riser is back in the original position we wanted it in. Once all the flow and directional positions have been obtained, we're going to go ahead, go back, and firmly retighten all of the coupler positions.